what's up youtube welcome back to another stop the madness reaction video today we're looking at an interview with a drag queen with some little kids let's take a look at the video mm -mm -mm. yep you can see my beard oh no hi hi how are you good what's your name Miko. Miko? I'm Isabella. What's your name? Kristen. Kristen? Nice to meet you. I'm Isabella. How are you doing? Good. Good. Are you nervous? Yes. How come? Do I look scary? Do you know what I am? No? I'm a drag queen. Have you ever heard of a drag queen before? No? What is a drag queen? A drag queen is someone who expresses themselves creatively through performance. So dress up in uh, wild costumes, big wigs, crazy makeup, and then get on stage and perform and entertain people. <laughs> <laughs> and I oh, so does it say no dress up as a woman. Like, like what? Like you look like you would speak in a different way. Yeah. But now you're speaking different. So <laughs> now. I know we're a boy. I'm a boy. <laughs> You're right. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Wait, what? <laughs> what? You didn't think I was a boy? I've been thinking. You thought I was a girl? I've been no, I'm a boy. boy. How do you feel about that? A little bit weird at all, but like, like a little interesting. Interesting? It's a lot to think about. Do you always dress up as a girl? Not always, only when I'm performing. Would you, would you have, uh, see, I don't have kids. I know I, if I had kids, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even let them. That's the first thing that comes to my would you, mind. Would like, you have allowed your kids? What parents, are, like, it's all about exposure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, why, why would you even expose your kids to, like, at this age? So I the mean, question that remains, would you allow your kids no. to do that? And what sucks, what sucks, yeah. my daughter's name yeah. is Isabella. Yeah, sure. Ain't that some bullshit? <laughs> Oh. I usually live most of my life in jeans and a t-shirt and a backwards ball cap. That's really cool. So you're gay? I am. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> did you curl your eyelashes? I, I did. I use an eyelash curler. Um, but yeah, your previous question, I am gay. I came out of the closet when I was 21 years old. What's coming out of the closet mean? Coming out of the closet means when you tell everybody this is uh, that you're you know, there's certain things that, you know, age is important. You know, that's why you don't teach kids certain things at certain ages, right? So even in school, you know that, like you don't teach kids, you know, algebra when they're- They're not ready for in it. In elementary school. Exactly. <laughs> you know they're what I'm saying? There's certain it. things that they're just not ready for that. And this is one of them. What um, is coming agree? out of the class? That clear, like, it's not a conversation the parents wanted to have with the kids, yeah. had to decide the kids. And her first exposure yeah. to coming out of the closet is with a drag queen. Like, yeah. I just don't understand the thinking. Yeah, this is the wrong uh, age to have this conversation with uh, a person. They're gay. Oh. It's something that gay people have to do. Do you have to be gay to do drag? No, anybody can do drag. Drag is for anybody and everybody who wants to put on a fun costume and get up on stage and entertain people. Everybody should try drag at least once. It's really fun. Even kids? Yeah, there's actually yeah, quite drag. a few kids that are starting to do drag. Do dogs do drag? Do dogs do drag? I mean, they can. You can dress a dog up in a, in a dress and take them on stage with you. So, why did you want to get to be a drag queen? Why did I want to be a drag queen? Or what's your inspiration? Great questions. I first went and saw a drag show and thought it was really fun. Mm -hmm. And so I started playing with makeup and wigs and costumes and things and then started performing and just fell in love with performing. I love being on stage. I've been a singer my entire life. Do you like to sing? Yeah. What do you like to sing? I like to sing Moana. Moana? What about you? Do you like to dance? A little. A little? Just, just a little bebopping? I like to do this dance called the floss. What's that? Like this. Oh, the backpack kid dance. 
Yeah. It's called the floss? Yeah, because it looks like you're flossing your teeth. Oh, <laughs> I get it. I'm into it. Where did you get this short? This, this dress, um, I got, um, I had a designer make it for me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Little girl. It is. Everything that I wear, I refer to as a costume. Like Halloween? It's kind of like Halloween every day. That's what I get to do for my job, is Halloween every day. Except oh. the candy part, there's no candy. No Sometimes candy. there's candy. <laughs> yeah, are you, or is this real or fake? Oh, they're, they're definitely fake. I, I glued them onto my eye. Uh, glued. Yeah. What about the gems over there? I glued those on too. What about the lipstick? The lipstick I just painted on. Okay. Six, seven, maybe five, six. Yeah. Five, six, and that, that's the thing. Like the kids asking, oh, can, you know, uh, who can dress up? And he's like, oh, anybody, anybody. can dress up. Even kids could dress up. Like, it's, it's not know. even in the realm of thought yeah. to dress up like here's a kid that's not even thinking about dressing up like a woman right like there's i don't see the benefit the net benefit of like let me dress up as a woman let me play yeah. with makeup like it, it's it's unnecessary it's yeah. almost uh you know if you expose kids to porn at a young age i mean it's literally like, i mean it's similar the, the, those are you're similar. exposing them to things their eyes they're, they're not ready for that's exactly just, right honestly, this is way too soon how the parents can let them yeah like have this interview know. yeah and then i tap yeah. glitter into it glitter. yeah glitter. <laughs> i like everything to sparkle a little bit a i say if you're not sparkling you're not trying right do you ever wear sparkly things not really not really how come you don't wear anything sparkly? Because I think some people at school make fun of me. Well, those people, their opinions people are aren't important. Do people ever yeah. make fun of you? Yeah. When I was younger, people did, but that's because, you know, kids do that. Kids can be mean. There's been a few times that I've encountered people that weren't quite as nice and were a little bit judgmental. I know what to do. What? I know what to do. Just don't speak, because then they think you're like a real don't you think I should just be myself? Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever wish you were a girl? I don't. I like uh, being a boy, but I enjoy dressing up like a girl. It's really fun. What does your family think about your job? You know, at first, they were a little unsure of it. They didn't quite understand what I was doing. But as they learned more, they've opened up more to it. What would your family say if you were a drag queen? Get out of this house. Really? Yeah, that's, that's the normal. Thing I would say. That's the normal well, response. Yep. Yeah. You know. I was like nine out of ten. People's minds. Yeah. I'm pretty much not weirded out now. You're not? Yeah, Good. I'm comfortable. Anybody can do anything they want. If, that's the point. if they want to wear a dress, that's fine. You just if need they want to wear pants. Yeah. I just believe in it. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you guys. It was great to meet you. It's so good to meet you. Hey. Yeah. Hot Slime shows up. Oh, hey, uh, Dad. I'll see you later. A, a, a drag queen show up. You know what? I want to try on mommy's clothes or whatever. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not happening. And again, and this is what I was saying before, is that this is the this is how the indoctrination begins. So you start off at a young age like this, and then prime example what did the kids say just now i'm not i'm not weirded out anymore i'm comfortable right so when you start young it becomes normal because now they're used to it now they're comfortable and it's not any it's not out of the ordinary any, anymore if you start at a young age you see what i'm saying sure when it's supposed to be out of the ordinary it's not supposed to be normal because it's not a com it's not normal it's, it's a very minute amount of people that do this type of stuff correct so it should be received as a abnormal you shouldn't have a normal reaction to it is the point you know what i mean I, I remember, at least i don't i don't think you should I, I remember my my older daughter when she said hey i i know friends that have come out um and you know she got she she came up right when gay marriage became legal mm. and so the whole concept of coming out or whatever and and i said look you never never treat no one different if she did have a, a some friend say come out say hey don't treat no one different you know mm -hmm. treat them with respect but the whole idea i think there's a law that says you can't you have religion in schools mm -hmm. right separate uh religion and school government right is separate mm -hmm. 
you have basic set sex education in the sense of this is how someone gets pregnant you know that's basic stuff i'm not even a fan of that but to get into different types of sexuality th this is all part of the you know the ruse mm -hmm. like it's normal let's talk about sexuality right. what right. you know it's okay to it's like no if you want to have some basic sex education as part of a teenager going to school fine whatever that that's that doesn't change no one's lives mm -hmm. but as little kids to introduce them to these concept of sexuality and gender identity and da -da -da. Mm -hmm. man that is not what school's for yeah and again i have no issue you know i want to be clear i have no issue with once you're an adult and you want to and this is your choice this is your decision if this is what you want to do if you want to be a drag queen if you want to be you know whatever you want to be mm -hmm. I, I don't have no issue with that. That's their choice. It's their life, right? And I don't think you have an issue with them making a decision. Where I have the issue, and I think you have the same issue, is this is what this is trying to do, which is let's get them used to this early so that they can feel like, oh, I can probably want to do it too. Or you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're trying to mold their mind to think like you. Mm -hmm. That's what I have a problem with. You see what I'm saying? I, I agree. Absolutely. I think, you know, you know it's all about environment right mm. so so if you you take a a child that's grow grows up in a two-family home well-educated environment safe neighborhood they're gonna be nine out of ten times a type of kid right mm. then you, you can go to the projects where someone's growing up in a rough neighborhood right. like violence is normal mm. it's just environment that you create mm. right and mm. this is all part of that process like you know i you know i have a young child she's months old mm -hmm. i already know i'm sending her to private school mm -hmm. like i whatever i gotta do <laughs> the money i gotta pay whatever what i whatever cost i gotta cut yeah. she's gonna go to private school mm -hmm. because i will not allow the school system yeah i don't to expose my my four I don't five mean. year old daughter mm -hmm. you know it's it's like watching disney cartoons and she's four years old and there's gay characters you know in the car like yeah. yeah no no that's not you know it's the same way i wouldn't want a disney cartoon to show the boy and the girl french kissing and making out because yeah. they shouldn't be exposed to that right. like it's all about exposure i just don't understand how parents uh in good conscience allow their kids to go through this yeah so in this particular case obviously the parents were they cool must with have it consented sure and let of them course it, so and you can but, see like but you said, in school the parents in the great abundance of the majority like i would say in the high 90 percentile don't agree with it like in the i would say it's very close to 100 percent. 98 percent of the women of, of the parents mother and father are probably not in agreement with Absolutely. them getting taught any of this type of stuff in the school, which we've seen video stuff it's like, like that. It's like you said, you can see the kid went from this I'm is kind of weird, out, and, and then he's like, like oh, I'm comfortable now. I feel comfortable but, now. And that's the goal, clearly. That's the objective. All right, well, <laughs> there you go, folks. Another reaction video. Please comment. Remember, like and subscribe to stop the madness. And we see you guys soon. No filter. We out. Peace.